welcome to Mind Your Business, a channel where we are in our everybody business. If you don't mind getting in people's business, you're on the right channel. Talking about current topics and gossip. The Mandem link up on this show was definitely needed because the only two husbands that I am team and that I actually back are JJ and Willie because they actually speak the truth. And the truth definitely was spoken at that little link up that they had. So let's get into it. Well, one of the people, my inclusive crew, let's talk about the Bell Collective. Pick up with Leticia's book launch where Glenn decides to give his little love rap song to her, which I was just like, please, we could really do without this. Um, yeah, I, I weren't really here for it. I mean, the faces in the room also show that not many people were there for it either. I felt like he was taking her moment because it's her book launch and making it about him, you know, performing a song and the love song. And then she kind of melted for it. I just thought... Letitia, why? Please don't tell me that one little degge degge rap song is going to make you back down and act like everything is all peaches and cream. But it, it seems so. It's just baffling to me. Anyway, later on in the show, we see Willie and Aikisha meet up with Essie and Marie. Because obviously we saw Marie and Essie speaking about doing a, a Lupus Foundation like uh, annual dinner. Or, you know, trying to, you know, raise more awareness around lupus. And which is a good thing. And we saw them talk about it last week. So obviously, Aikisha and Willie wanted to kind of get involved in that. Because obviously, they share that Willie's mum did suffer from lupus. So obviously, it's something that's close to his heart. Um, and I thought it was, a, that's a good thing that they're coming together on that. Although, of course, I'm always sad I am Marie because I feel like she's bad vibes. But, and of course, while they're meeting up, she did come up with a little bad vibes because when Willie mentions getting Tambra to help promote it on her radio show, Marie's there putting her face and even he was like, well, what's up with the face? You know, and he, she's chatting about she's not going to say nothing. Next up, we have Willie who sets up the Mandem link up, which I was definitely here for. Like I said, I am team JJ and Willie because they speak truth. Because first, I love that JJ basically called out Cliff for being a shit starter. I'm like, yes, let's get to it. And shares that his ex has been actually confiding in him. And that, you know, after the whole mix up between her and, and so Gucci, apparently she called him first. I'm like, huh? What? So I was quite surprised at that. And even Willie was surprised and said, well, it doesn't Latrice have a problem. But, you know, he said, no, he, you know, Cliff said that Latrice trusts him and stuff. But I'm like, mm -hmm, this is interesting to me because JJ's ex, Selena, did have an affair with um, Cliff. So I think it's just weird. So you cheat on your husband with Cliff and now you're calling Cliff when you're, when you're having these confrontational moments. I just think it's very, very strange. It's a weird dynamic. I don't know how Latrice still did that. I know Latrice is quite friendly with Selena as well. So I just think it's a very mix up, very mixy and it could never be me. But anyway, JJ was cracking me up because I just like the way he just calls out the shit. Same as Willie. Both of them were calling out Cliff on his bullshit. And all Cliff could do was just smoke on his cigar. And, you know, he's already red, so he got a little bit redder than, than he was. <laughs> but I'm just like, yes, please, please talk some truth to this idiot man, Glenn. The two of them are fools. Glenn and Cliff, the two of them are big time idiots as far as I'm concerned. I, they're just, they're a mess. They're a complete mess. So, you know, they're telling Glenn, he needs new friends. <laughs> And I was like, yes, tell his backside to fix up. He does need new friends. I love that um, JJ was like, look, basically you're, you're, you're taking advice from this man. This man is mashing up your marriage. It's like they're both saying, you know, you're pouring gasoline onto the, that Cliff is pouring glass gasoline onto Glenn and Letitia's marriage. And they can see it. But Glenn being a big fool that he is, he's sitting there like, oh, well, well, you know, show me how this is a problem. Like, it's a problem. Even your wife don't like that, you're always with Cliff. So that should be a sign. You've got these two guys who have got nothing to gain from telling you this. Just being honest. Telling you that you need new friends and you need someone who's going to tell you the right thing to do. And that, you know, Cliff calling him to go and cause a whole mix-up around the strippers being at um, So Gucci's party was mix-up. Because like Willie said, the other husbands were there. Everyone was cool. Cliff doing that created a whole big madness. So he's very much, like JJ said, he should be a bell because he's definitely in there like a woman. He's, he's mixing up himself in things that he don't need to be mixed up himself in. And he feels like he's got to be there with Glenn. But Glenn... To me, he's like a little puppet for, for Cliff. Cliff is just having fun with him over there because he's chatting about his, he's fireproof and no one can't pour no gasoline on what he's got going on over there. Yeah, it was because you control your woman over there. But um, yeah, it's a whole damn hot mess. But it did make me laugh when um, Willie basically said, you know, <laughs> Cliff is like Don King and Glenn is like Mike Tyson. I was like, mm-hmm. But Glenn still is not getting it. Now, also, which is interesting, is Cliff trying to shade JJ, you know, because he said that, you know, he lacks him as a person but can't be friends with him. And JJ's like, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, he don't give a damn anyway. 
But why is he trying to shade him chatting about, oh, well, it's because he's vexed that, you know, his wife came looking for him. He didn't know that he was uh, married or whatever. So that's nothing to do with him. I said, look, pun this, look a red rap. The man is just something else, man. He's something else. And he loves that. He loves that, you know, he still has that friendship with Selena that, you know, causes this tension. I feel like he, he enjoys all of this whole mix up. Definitely. Next, we see Tambra and Aikisha meet up. And I thought it was really sweet. It was such a sweet moment where Tambra finally shared with one of the bells, at least, that she is pregnant. And I felt like it was such a nice, genuine moment. You could see that Aikisha was really happy for her. And you could see that, you know, they're getting their relationship back on track. And I was really happy to see that little interaction between them, which is really good to see. Now, later on, we see Aikisha meet up with Marie to try and find out, like, what's going on with the um, this dinner that they're doing, this lupus event. So it just seemed like Marie had no clue. So to me, about Essie, she don't know why I go on because... When Aikisha's asking her certain questions, she don't know what's going on. Then she's talking about this is not what she does. Aikisha sounds like she doesn't really want to, you know, do the whole organising. She just wants to also probably sign a check, you know, invite a couple of people to her to the, for the tables and be done. But it just sounds like Essie is definitely the driver here. So I don't know how that's going to go. But Marie just seems like, you know, because she is Miss Know-It-All, Miss Know-It-All. I was quite surprised that she didn't seem to know much on this. Now... At the ending, of course, we've got Leticia, who's meeting with some, you know, bank owners. Um, and because they've asked her to be a brand ambassador. And she does mention that it came on the back of her book launch, right? So key part there, she mentioned it came on the back of her book launch. But she's obviously decided to partner with Glenn because she's all in her little love bubble since he gave her a little digga digga dry rap song that he done for her. Anyway, I digress. So, yeah, basically, she's up in a love bubble, so she decides to come and bring him into this meeting. But she this is the first time that they've partnered on business. So she's sitting in the meeting. The people that are sitting opposite her, Glenn is nowhere to be seen. He turns up late. Why is this man talking about his turn up fashion be late? I said, please, I want the backside of this. What do you mean? You come in with your little, you, you, you come in, in looking, you know, yeah, you look smart, whatever, but I don't give a damn. Why are you turn up to the meeting, big important meeting, late, chatting about you coming fashion be late, like your name's... Um, Beyonce, like, what's going on here? I'm sure even Beyonce probably sends up to her meetings on time. Like, no, this is business. What are you doing? Then you get there, you meet people then, you sit down and then you turn to Leticia straight away and say, yeah, let's talk. Can we talk in private? Can you excuse the, the bank people? Excuse me? What are you doing here? Leticia's face made me laugh because she just looks like, uh, really? Is he really trying to do this with the bankers right opposite me? This is not the time. Because even I'm thinking, well, what's, what's so urgent that he wants to talk to her? So then he starts bringing up lawyers and stuff. So obviously she says, let's go and talk in the back. And then obviously, you know, as we watched, we can see that he has definitely been prepped to me by Cliff. Once again, it's in his ear causing foolishness. Because if your wife is the one that was approached by the um, bank owners and it's off the back of her book, then of course it will go for her enterprise. And then, then she will pay you through the enterprise. What is the problem with that? It sounds like it's a deal that she got um, and they probably said, well, well you, you know, you can bring your husband in or whatever. And but at the end of the day, it was off the back of her book. You didn't write that book. You came and crashed in with your, your, with your music, but you didn't write the book. So I don't understand why he's there asking about lawyers. That was getting me mad because I'm thinking, are you, are you a madman? Why are you talking about lawyers in front of the bank owners? Look, at you're trying to embarrass the woman. Like, it was very embarrassing. And then you're complaining that you're not getting paid. The, the percentage is slightly smaller. So you're vexed. With your woman, this is not the time to do, to do it. You're causing shit whilst you've got these bank owners next door. Embarrassing. I just thought, I felt bad for Letitia, but I'm like, Letitia, this is what you're accepting because of one digga digga rap song, you're feeling like you can bring him in on your business. No, you should have kept that very separate. But yeah, anyway, he's vexed. He's causing, he's causing that mix up. Bank owners are sitting next door. They probably can hear everything what's going on. He's acting like she's trying to teeth out his money. I'm like, the woman already told you she's going to give you a percentage. So what the hell? It was she, even she said that she'll send it to him, cash up it or whatever. I feel like it's really interesting that he's implying that she's teething or she's trying to teeth him or swindle him and can't be trusted. Whereas uh, who was the person who was cheating on, on who? So who should really have trust issues? But no, I'm sorry. Even when she had said to him, <laughs> you sounded like Cliff. And he tried, but yeah, well, Cliff told me. I said, no, nah, what the rass is going on here? He needs to go and live with Cliff, go out and marry Cliff, because he's going on like Cliff is the, the driving force in his marriage. If he keeps listening to Cliff, he might not have a marriage. Glenn needs to go and take some advice from JJ and Willie, yeah? People that seem to be in happy marriages and um, are not mixed up, okay? And not being all controlling with their women and all that kind of rubbish. No, no, it's a hot damn mess. 
I feel like Glenn is just acting like an idiot and so is Cliff. So I'm just not really here for it. We'll see what happens next week. But I particularly was not impressed with that whole situation. But what do you people think? Like, are you with me? Do you like JJ and do you like Willie? What do you think about Cliff giving all this crap advice to Glenn? And what do you think about Glenn? Because I felt like he was very big headed. Why are you asking to have a conversation with the bank owners right there to basically quarrel with your, your woman about a, a slight change in percentage and getting paid for the enterprise. Aren't you happy you're getting paid at all? Because really, don't you work on some boat somewhere usually? Aren't you off out to sea or something like that? So what the hell? Your woman's the one who's out here making moves, doing events and writing the book and doing what she's doing. So I just feel like he's just, he's something else. He's a big idiot. I don't like it. I don't like the foolishness, but we will see why I go on with the next episode. But what do you people think? Let me know your thoughts below. Yes, so thanks for watching that. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share and hit that notification bell so you know when I am uploading some more of people's business. So until then, my nosy people, stay blessed.